Hello everyone and welcome back to another tier list. This time we're going to be going over all of the wild shapes that druids get, all the way from level 2 to level 18 for moon druids. Now as this implies, there are going to be different levels that we're going to be stepping through from level 2 base druid all the way up through uh, level 8. We're going to be doing the moon druid wild shapes and we're going to be ranking them on a tier list. So there needs to be one critical clarification. Moon Druids will get some forms before other versions of Druid. So I have marked those with a Moon symbol. Now, if that Moon symbol is there, the Moon Druids will get that form at level two when they gain their subclass. If it's not there, then they gain it at a later point. Obviously, no level two forms will need this symbol since all Druids get those wild shapes at level two. However, for the level four and eight base Druid forms, uh, those who are landlocked, all of those ones will gain this symbol and will be unlocked at Moon Druid level 2. Now, with that little clarification out of the way, I think it's time we get started with our tier list. Now, we're going to be getting with Base Druid level 2, starting with Axe Beak. And as you can see, here are our tier list categories. There is Always Amazing for no matter what level, this wild shape is probably not going to be wasted to use it. There is Moon Druid gets a better option, which means that uh, this one is fine, but if you're a Moon Druid, you're going to want to use the Moon Druid's better option. Uh, there are situational ones for those wild shapes that you might not always use, but there's definitely an instance where, well, this one is the one that you should be using. Then there's, it's good for something, maybe? Uh, where it's like, okay, there's one thing about this wild shape that you might actually want to use it for, and then it doesn't get worse, is for those that are like, there's so many better options, or there's no reason to use this option. Without further ado, let's properly get into it. With Axe Beak. Alright, Axe Beak. It's okay. But... I'm going to put it in this one because most other forms can do something better. If you want something to ride, go with a camel. If you want something to fight, go with a dire wolf. I'm going to put dire wolf in Moondruid's better option, not always amazing, because eventually there are things that beat it out, but... This is kind of the rough start for our tier list. Uh, cat, also situational. Sometimes you want it for stealth, but... You know. Baboon. Not great. Not great at all. Um, I don't know if... It's quite the worst. It's got hands, but so does an ape. Ape is level 4. No, there's no reason. And Badger, there's no reason. Boar, no reason. Constrictor Snake. Now that... That is situational. That is definitely situational. How? Like, you might use it to, to, like, stealth into a farm, but at that point, just use a... Use a spider. Deer, same thing. Draft Horse. Now, Draft Horse is the lowest challenge rating horse, but it's tied with Riding Horse. I'm going to put it down here because Riding Horse, definitely situational. Elk, you don't need to use. Well, no, because there's things that are faster than the elk. Giant Badger. Good for something, maybe. Giant centipede. No. Fire beetle. Yeah. Lizard. No. Rat. Well, uh, not really. I'm actually going to change my mind. That's going down here. Weasel. Nope. Wolf spider. Now, there's an interesting thing about the difference between the giant spider, which is somewhere down later, down here, and the giant wolf spider. 
The giant spider can actually create webbing attacks. The giant wolf spider cannot. So I'm going to say it's okay, but the instant you unlock giant spider, you should never use giant wolf spider. Goat. No. Hadrosaurus. It, no. You don't, you don't, I mean, it's, it's hit points. Like, okay, let me, hold on, let me actually go look at the Hadrosaurus. Yeah, there's, there's a lot better options. Um, it's not the worst thing in the world. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it there. Hyena. I think hyenas get pack tactics, but, like, there's other options, like Velociraptor at this, like Velociraptor, holy crap, Velociraptor is really good. Velociraptor is, like, surprisingly good for the challenge rating that it is. Pack Tactics just makes it destroy. But Hyena, maybe. Jackal, no. Lizard, no. Mastiff, situational. Sometimes they want a puppy. Mule. No, because camel. Camel is a better mule. Panther. Not really. There's no reason to, to go panther particularly. Um, I'm going to put it in and maybe there's a use for it. Pony? No. Rat? Yes. Rats can be situationally used for stealth. Much like... Like... Spider is an amazing stealther. Spider is a fantastic stealther and everyone gets it at level two. This is oftentimes when people are like, yeah, let's send the rogue in stealth. Why don't you send the druid in as a spider? It will work. Your plan will work. Scorpion, very situational. It's not as good a stealther as a spider. Its poison is not fantastic. It's just meh. Weasel, no. Wolf. Maybe it's fine for something, but dire wolf exists. Ape. Holy crap, ape. So, um, I don't actually know, like, okay. So ape has hands. As a monkey, as a gorilla, you have hands, which means that you can use weapons. You can't really use armor, because your armor will not morph to fit your body. Your armor must be made to fit the body. So, you can't really do that, which means that your armor class is limiting. However, if, say, you don't get the proficiency, uh, you have a plus three scimitar, and you're a gorilla. Use the... Use the scimitar. Um, though... It really does depend. It's it's situ it's somewhere between situational and whatever I've called this moon druid gets a better option list. Uh, black bear moon druid does get a better option. They get the uh, to scroll down. Where is it? Why can't I find it? Where's brown bear? Oh god, I'm blind. Ah, the brown bear. Moondruids get brown bear. I mean, everyone does, but Moondruids get it at level 2 or 6 or something, whereas everyone else gets it at level 8. So yeah, uh, Moondruid's better option for the black bear is definitely the brown bear. Crab is... maybe a good underwater stealther. However, Octopus is a really good underwater stealther. And then the giant octopus is amazing. I'm actually going to put it in always amazing because the giant octopus is always amazing. Uh, crocodile, situational, sometimes, you know. Dimetrodon, no. Dolphin, maybe. Frog, not really. Giant crab. Now, giant crabs can be used very well. However, the giant octopus still beats it out in every way. Warhorse. Um, 
it's pretty quick. It's kind of strong. But if you just want speed, it's not the fastest. The fastest is Quetzalcoatlus, which goes in always amazing because not only does it have a fly speed of like 80 or 90 feet, I think it's 80 feet, it has flyby, which means you don't trigger opportunity attacks when you fly past enemies. The giant frog is maybe good for something. Giant goat in that same boat. Ugh. Giant poisonous snake. Yeah. Giant seahorse. No. Poisonous snake. Maybe. Maybe like spooking someone by like they open something and they find a snake. But then they're just going to hit you. And that's not going to go well. Quipper. You want to be a piranha? Uh, poor decision. Reef shark. Now. Reef Shark is good right up until, where is it? Hunter Shark. Reef Shark upgrades to Hunter Shark. And uh, Hunter Shark has something special. They have advantage to attack creatures that have already taken damage. So if you want more guaranteed hits and you're not as focused on restraining like you would be with the giant octopus, then, then the hunter shark is probably your best best bet. Now, where did I put octopus? Because I just remember something. Moon gets yes. No, I agree with that. Because octopus, uh, they get ink clouds, so that's that's fine. Seahorse, no, that's terrible. Bat, now bat. I want to put bats in situational. Bats are a good flying stealth, uh, like perceiver. So are owls. Owls are going to go right there. Bloodhawk, you don't need to be Bloodhawk. And now we have to scroll up and down. Eagle, you don't need to be an eagle. Giant bat, maybe. Flying snake, not really. Giant eagle, situational with giant owl. Both of those guys, and giant owl is better because of its perception. So, giant owl, amazing to carry your friends and still be able to spot everything happening around you giant hyena i think it might have pack tactics i don't know so maybe giant spider amazing fantastic great um i don't know it's it's somewhere between these two tiers like on these levels because of its web abilities and its other things that it gets it's not fantastically hit pointed or well armored, but it ha it's feature rich, you know? It's very feature rich. Giant Toad. I'm gonna go look at the differences between Giant Toad and Giant Frog. Uh, whoops. So Giant Frog is terrible and Giant Toad is actually pretty okay. Not amazing, but it's okay. Um. Why would you go Lion and Tiger if you have Dire Wolf? Vulture has pack tactics, but you know what also has pack tactics? Giant Vulture. Um, I want to put Giant Vulture up there, because Giant Vulture is pretty damn good. And this one can maybe be situational. Giant Wasp, also kind of situational. Now, Owls. Owls, I said I wanted to go right behind Bat, because those two have that same sort of knight stealth advantages. Uh, Pteranodon, Moondruids get a better option, even though Moondruids only get the Pteranodon, whatever. Quetzalcoatlus is the better flying dinosaur. You should not go Pteranodon, you don't need to. Plesiosaurus now is a pretty decent underwater guy, but Giant Octopus and Hunter Shark are better. Uh, Raven goes right below the bat and the owl so i'm gonna put it here maybe it's good for something uh allosaurus druids cannot become t-rexes because they're like cr7 or 8 so allosaurus is one of your best t-rex adjacent options but it's not great it's okay it's got some things going for it but personally there's better, there's better single enemy 
monsters and there's better single uh, multiple uh, enemy wild shapes sorry um, but you don't really need to, to do Allosaurus if you want to you can it might not be the worst decision uh, Aurochs they're just big cows don't do it cave bear now cave bears are actually better brown bears brown bears are actually better black bears so black bears are moving down and cave bears taking that um, we're going to definitely need to, to change some of these around. Giant Constrictor Snake. These are really good against single enemies. So Giant Constrictor Snakes can constrict someone, but the instant that they they do that, they're stuck. They're completely stuck. They're frozen in place. So against one person, that's great. Against multiple people, not so much. Giant Boar. Why would you do this? Giant Elk. They're kind of quick. That's about all I can say. They're kind of quick. Polar bear. I'm going to go look at the difference between a cave bear and a polar bear. They're the same stat block. Polar bear and cave bear are identical. It just depends what color you want to be. Uh, rhinoceros. They got a charge attack. Sabertooth tiger. They're like right with panther. They're like the same thing. And Kylosaurus. You want a ridiculous armor class? They're pretty okay. They're pretty good. Uh, giant Scorpion. Pretty solid single, like... They have really good damage, but they suffer from the same thing that I was talking about with the Giant Constrictor Snake, where it really should be used against only one enemy. Okay, Killer Whale. It's fine. <laughs> um, I would put it somewhere around situational, because there's better underwater fighters, there's better swimmers. It's fine. And then we 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 got it. We got to do it. Okay, so Air Elemental really fast. Fire Elemental can walk through people and set them on fire. Earth Elemental, good chunk of hit points, but not as not on the level of those. And Water, really cool features, but not quite on the level of those two. Um, that's just kind of where my gut instinct tells me to put those. We'll look at them in a second. We're very close to the end. Elephant, nothing really special. There's better chargers. There's better... There's, there's better options. Stegosaurus is just a worse Ankylosaurus. Uh, so, it's a higher CR and it's worse. It just doesn't, it, that's just as bad as it goes. Brontosaurus, why would you become a Brontosaurus? <laughs> why would you do that? Um, Giant Crocodile, probably one of the best single target strikers in the game easily easily replaces the dire wolf and the giant scorpion as as a st amazing striker um giant shark blind sight and great underwater contends with giant octopus easily beats out hunter shark fantastic triceratops why would you why would you become triceratops there's better options and mammoth you have a trample attack and a crap load of hit points. I won't say it's amazing, but I'll say it's pretty good. All right, um, everything has been placed. Now it's just time to go on ahead and verify back over ourselves because I am bound to have made mistakes. Okay, so... Spider is a really good stealther. It's probably one of the best that you get for really, like you could be a spider, th th tiny, tiny spider. That's really good because if you were invisible, someone with sea invisibility or true sight would see you. Those don't really see tiny, tiny little spiders. They still need to succeed on a perception roll to notice you. Um. Things like the giant octopus, fantastic in terms of grappling multiple people at the same time. Great. Quetzalcoatlus, uh, best flyer 
with an asterisk. Air and fire elemental, you need to contend that it costs two, both, of your wild shape uses for a shorter long rest to, to use them. So, Quetzalcoatlus and Air Elemental are contended for best flyers. Um, Air Elemental has its own unique things such as like pulling or pushing people along, but Quetzalcoatlus has flyby. Uh, I think they both should be here. Fire Elemental, amazing. You can walk through people, set them on fire. Why wouldn't that be amazing? Uh, Giant Crocodile, best striker in the game. Uh, because it does what Direwolf does. When you bite someone, they grappled. They stuck. They there. They in your chompies. Uh, giant shark. Just a better hunter shark. And a hunter shark is already really good. So I think it deserves to stay here. For the moon druid's better option, which, which just basically worked down to, there's probably an option better, but these are fantastic options. Uh, dire wolf. There are better options. But you get that at level 2 if you're a Moon Druid. That's really solid. Uh, Polar Bear and Cave Bear, they're the same stat block, but they're really good bears. A lot of hit points, decent armor class, multi-attack, just a lot of solid, a lot of solid things that you get there. Hunter Shark. Blood Frenzy. You have advantage on people who are hurt. Amazing. Giant Vulture. Pack tactics, really good. Uh, Constrictor Snake, you can lock someone in place. Not as good as the octopus or the crocodile, but if you're only fighting one person, it's really good. <laughs> Ankylosaurus. I'm gonna move Ankylosaurus up because if you want a tank, there's no tanks in that top row. Now there is, and Ankylosaurus is the best tank Contending with Mammoth. Mammoth or Ankylosaurus. Why not both? Why not both? Um Giant Scorpion? Pretty pretty solid striker. Pretty good striker. Um I don't think that needs to be moved down. I think it's solid where it is. Earth Elemental and Water Elemental, they're Elementals. They have a lot of really cool and good things working for them. You get them at level 10 and they're still like CR 5 or 6. They've got a lot of hit points. They've got versatile features, alternate move speeds. They're good to fill a niche if you need it in the moment and have your wild shape uses. Velociraptor. Um, it's good. Direwolf is better, but Velociraptor gets pack tactics, so it, it's pretty solid. Uh, brown bear. Brown bears um, are just worse polar and cave bears, but not by much. Uh, Multi-attack, which you get like at level 2. Awesome. Uh, octopus, Ink Cloud, Stealth Underwater, solid. Giant Crab. E. You get giant crab and giant octopus at the same time. You don't need giant. Giant crab is moved down to situational. Reef shark, just a worse hunter shark. Solid, solid choice that you get when you first get swim creatures, but the instant that level six rolls around, move to hunter shark. Uh, giant spider, great. Web attacks, moving on webs. All cool things, but those aren't necessarily sought after features after a certain point. Um, creatures can start ignoring them. At least, usually they do. So, I'm gonna. I think it's safe to stay in this 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 area. Pteranodon. It's a worse Quetzalcoatlus by a bit. So yeah, it should go here. They're fast, but they're not great. You know. Situational, we have the camel. I mean, you get it at level 2, pretty much no matter what. Your friends can ride, you can carry more. Situational, but it works. Cat, bat, owl, all decent little stealth guys. Uh, Constrictor snake, yeah, uh, at low levels it's probably fine. Uh, giant owl, 
Why is that in situational? Okay, Giant Owl is the carrier. If you want to get your, like, three people from one spot to another, use Giant Owl. You can carry one person in each claw and throw one on your back. I'm gonna move this up. That, that is the troop carrier. That is what you want. Uh, Constrictor Snake. Giant Toad. It's just a better giant frog. It's sometimes fine. Riding Horse. Riding Horse is your fastest uh, wild shape that you will have for a minute. I think it's the fastest wild shape that uh, pretty much anyone gets up until Moon Druid level like 6 or level 8. Uh, riding Horse is pretty good. Giant Wasp is fine. I'm sure that you can find a use for it. Uh, usually though, Giant Wasps are used with like summoning spells because you can summon a bunch of them. Um, at least I remember someone doing that in one of my games. Mastiff. Sometimes you need to be a wiener dog. You know, I just flavor Mastiffs as whatever dogs or whatever dogs. I know it's technically supposed to be a Mastiff, but it's a puppy. Plesiosaurus. I don't know. It's here. Rat. Same with Cat, Bat, Owl. It's Stealther. It's a little stealth guy. Good for the sewers. That's about it. Allosaurus. If you really want to be a T-Rex, this is your best option. Scorpion. <sighs> yeah, maybe, maybe you'll want to use Scorpion. But there are better things. There are, there are better, there are broader horizons out there for you. Uh, Black Bear. Just a worse brown bear, which is in the tier above. You shouldn't use this one unless you're a base druid and you just get it. Then it's fine. Ape hands. If you want weapons, if you specifically in the situation where you're a druid who wants to use weapons, ape or elemental, and maybe if your DM is awesome, giant octopus, those are your options. So ape is kind of ape is kind of it. Killer Whale, um, there's, there's way better things. Killer Whale is CR3. You can already be a Hunter Shark, which is better. So do be a Hunter Shark. Be a Hunter Shark. Crocodile, um, it's okay, but you should be a Giant Octopus. Giant Crab, same thing. Warhorse, okay. Warhorse is a beefier riding horse with a slightly slower speed. If you want a beefier horse, one that can actually like, say, say you need to be a horse to get your friend into a fight or out of a fight. And you don't care about speed, you care about your wild shape soaking up a lot of damage, become the war horse. But if you care about speed, become a riding horse. And then giant poisonous snake. Um, yeah, that's fine where it is. It's situational because the poison isn't that good. Uh, it's good for something maybe. Axe beaks might be good for something. Uh, you can carry people, but not as good as a horse. You can deal damage, but not as good as most other things. If you want to be a big bird, it can be an axe beak. Giant goat. I don't know. At this at this point, does it really matter? At this point, these are like giant badger, uh huh, poisonous snake, giant fire beetle, giant bat, giant wolf spider, giant eagle. I'm gonna move giant eagle up. To, well, no, because when you can become a giant eagle, you can also become a giant owl, which you should always do. Hadrosaurus. No, actually, Hadrosaurus is bad. Don't be a Hadrosaurus. Hyena, eh, Vulture, eh. They're both pack tactics users, I think, just like Giant Hyena. Panther, Raven, Sabertooth Tiger, Giant Elk, Wolf, Rhino, Crab, Elephant, Dolphin, Giant Goat. I already said Giant Goat, but it moved. Yep, those all deserve to be in the maybe I can find a use for this one, but probably not. And then lastly, for the it just does not get worse category, baboon, badger, boar, cow, deer, draft horse, elk, 
giant centipede, giant lizard, giant rat, giant weasel, goat, jackal, lizard, mule, pony, weasel, dimetrodon, frog, giant seahorse, quipper, regular seahorse, uh, bloodhawk, eagle, flying snake. If someone sees a flying snake coming, then they're going to freak the fuck out. So maybe, maybe if you want to do a freak out mission. Uh, giant frog, hawk, lion, tiger, auroch, giant boar, stegosaurus, brontosaurus, triceratops, and hadrosaurus. Yeah, that's about right. Thank you all for watching, everyone. This is my final tier list. Um, I stand by this. This kind of tracks with how I've... Well, I've never played a druid, but how I've wanted to play a druid for a while. Um, if you have anything to say about this, if you think I've missed something, or if you think that one of these has a hidden feature that makes it better than how I've marked it, please leave it down in the comments below. Um, I might respond with some sort of uh, anything, I don't know, whether it's a post or whether it's uh, mentioning it in another video. Uh, I'll make sure that you get credit because, you know, we can all make mistakes. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, go and join our Patreon, where we've just posted our latest homebrew pack, all about uh, magic, the arcane, and the secrets that dwell within. But thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya, guys. Bye!